Hey guys, so we've got the base coats down on this fella. Um, it says he's a ranger, but he's also a hero figure, so uh, I wanted to keep the sort of earthy ranger-ness in the, the green of his uh, tunic and the browns, the leathers that are going to be of his uh, boots and gloves and things. Uh, but also, because he's a hero type uh, miniature, I wanted to keep him a bit of a regal look about him. Uh, so there's uh, a red gem on his belt buckle, there's a couple of uh, ropes, cords down either side of his uh, chest that are red, and uh, the trim of his chainmail is uh, also red, and the cape, I've gone for a, a dark blue, which uh, is sort of in keeping with the regal look, and the shield, Let's see if I can get that in there. focus there. There's, uh, I wasn't sure what colour to do the dragon, I thought about doing it uh, green and making it look dragony, but then I went with silver. I haven't fully decided yet, but that's uh, as it is at the minute. Uh, the checker pattern on the shield, um, again I was going to go for black and white to make it more striking, but then I thought no, I'll uh, stick with red and blue so it's in uh, keeping with the figure itself. I've done a, the, uh, the face is complete now, I've done the shading and the highlighting on the skin tones um, and the eyes and the teeth and, and things. I've still got to highlight the hair but essentially the face is done. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of this colour scheme guys. Um, I quite like it myself but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, it's not too late to change it if uh, if I decide that maybe the green should be a different colour, or maybe you should be more ranger and less regal and have a green cape as well. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you this, guys. Uh, the detail on this is absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't wait to get the, the highlights and the final washes and things done on it. Um, going well, it's looking good.